Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the preview could not be loaded error. So if I try to edit a page with Elementor here, uh, we're going to see that now it's trying to load up the page. And after a few seconds, we get this, the preview could not be loaded. So this can happen for multiple reasons. I'm going to go through a few of the most co uh, common troubleshooting issues um, and just go ahead and try these. It could be different things, so try each one, and by the end of the video, uh, we should have this fixed for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new page. So that's just to find out if Elementor is working and maybe the issue is just in our existing pages or if it has completely stopped working um, throughout the site. So I'm just gonna call this page test, and we're gonna hit publish and publish. And for this website that I'm troubleshooting, they have a lot of plugins uh, enabled and that could also be an issue, um, but we'll get there, uh, we'll get there next. Um, let's just close this for now. It's publishing and let's see what happens. Okay, so the publishing is done and we can see the website here. Let's open it up. And here's the test website. Now let's try to use Elementor on it. And we'll give Elementor a second to load. And now we're going to see whether this blank page opens or if it's going to give us the error again. Okay, so we have the error again. Now, the most common issue for this preview could not be loaded is the theme. That happens a lot. So let's switch the theme temporarily to check if that's the case. So we're going to come here to Appearance and Themes. We're going to let that load. And we see that uh, this user is using Astra, which is a pretty normal normal theme, nothing too crazy there. Um, but we're gonna switch to uh, the hello theme from Elementor, since in this case, the Elementor editor is not uh, is what's not working. We wanna make sure that uh, it works with their theme to avoid any conflicts. And here it is, hello Elementor, let's install this. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed and activated and we will see if the issue persists and that'll let us know whether or not it was the theme that was causing the issue. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and activate it now and we'll give that a moment to load. Uh, this user has a lot of plugins on their website, so it's running a little bit slow. Um, and okay, it did finish activating. Let's refresh this page and see if the issue persists. Okay, we are refreshing. And it looks like it's, okay, still, we're still having the issue. Okay, so it's not the theme. The next thing we wanna check is uh, the server settings. Since uh, Elementor does call the server to load in the editor, um, we're gonna come here to advanced and uh, the switch loader method is already enabled. So that is not gonna be the issue. Um, but just to be safe, I like to disable these performance features sometimes they mess with the editor. So we're gonna turn these off. And I also like coming here to these experimental options. They can also mess with the editor and we're gonna deactivate um, a lot of these ones that are in beta, which tend to cause issues. And we're also gonna go ahead and deactivate any of the ones that we are not really using on the website. And this is to remove any possible conflicts that these extras might be causing. So we're gonna hit save. We'll leave these on since these might be being used by the website. And then we're gonna refresh again uh, to check if we see any change um, in the editor's ability to load. All right, so here we go. We're refreshing once again, and we still get that could not be loaded. The next thing we're gonna check is the plugins. And we're gonna go ahead and deactivate all the plugins except um, Elementor. So they have quite a few here. Um, let's go ahead and check all of them. And we're going to uncheck Elementor and Elementor Pro. And I'm also going to uncheck this temporary login that I'm using to stay logged into the website. But everything else, we're gonna go ahead and click deactivate and click apply. And we're gonna give it a second to run and deactivate all these plugins. Okay, so we've got all the plugins deactivated. And now we're gonna go ahead and refresh here and see if Elementor comes back. And now Elementor is loading. So what does that tell us? Uh, basically, one of the plugins was causing this uh, 
preview cannot be loaded error. Now, to find out which one it was, um, the first thing I'm going to do is put the theme back just to make sure I don't forget to put that how it was. And I'm just going to refresh to make sure that no issues come back. And it should load normally. We, okay, here it is. All right, so we're going to go to plugins, and now we have to systematically reactivate these um, to confirm or find out which one is causing the issue. Now, there's some plugins that I, I'm pretty sure they're pretty safe, uh, like Yoast, WP Forms, that shouldn't cause any issues. Uh, I'll leave these caching plugins on to avoid conflicts. Uh, SNTP. Um, there's two caching plugins. That's interesting. WordFronts, uh, this can block some things Elementary uses, so I'll leave that off. Updraft shouldn't be an issue. These hosting plugins sometimes cause issues, so I'll leave that off. And basically what I'm doing is just reactivating the plugins that I'm pretty sure shouldn't break the website. Uh, redirection, this can cause a lot of issues if it's redirecting the URLs that Elementor is using to load the page. So leave that off. Uh, simple security, this can block Elementor. Rank math should be fine. This one should be fine. This one and this one are fine. Jetpack makes a lot of internal changes to the website. So we're gonna leave these off. Image optimizer should be fine. I think these are fine as well. Google Analytics, Ghost Importer. The Elementor add-ons I'm also gonna leave off since they can conflict with Elementor. I'm gonna turn this one back on, custom post UI. Uh, these are fine as well. And these were already off from the beginning. So let's reactivate these. And these are the ones that I believe don't cause any issues. Um, but if the website gets uh, broken again, we'll know that they actually were causing issues. So I'm interested to see what happens when I do that. Okay, so it looks like the plugins reactivated. Let me check. Yes, they did. All right, let's refresh here and see if there still are no issues. Okay, Elementor is loading. And, oh, we have an error. So one of the plugins that I thought was safe is actually causing issues. So which one could it be? Um, wow, that's very interesting. Uh, rank math can sometimes cause issues. Maybe this is changing some URLs. This uh, messes with the JavaScript that Elementor uses. And the server. You know what? Let's, let's deactivate this one. So there it is, deactivated. And let's refresh and maybe we can figure out exactly which plugin is causing the issues. There it is, we found our culprit. So in this case, the issue was this HTTP2 push content, pushes all CSS and JavaScript files through the HTTP2 server. So something that this plugin is doing is messing up how Elementor calls the server and loads the website and loads all its content. Um, so that's how you can discover uh, what plugin is causing the issue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reactivate these things back. And uh, we're gonna check the website one more time because sometimes um, there's more than one plugin that are causing the same issue. And we wanna confirm that that is not the case. So we're gonna turn these back on just to confirm that the only plugin causing an issue, these were already off. The only plugin causing an issue is this one. That's the last confirmation that we need. So let's activate them again. And we'll give it a second to activate here. And hopefully that's the only plugin. Now, when that happens, you can decide to either remove the plugin. If it's a plugin that you're not using, just go ahead and delete it. You don't need it. Or go through the settings of that plugin. Or maybe you might even have to reach out to the developer of the plugin to find out um, if there's a bug that they're aware of. All right, so we're going to refresh here. And hopefully it loads. And there was only one plugin that was causing the issue. All right, so we're going to give it a second as it refreshes here. And it's making some progress, which is nice to see. And will the page load? Very important. Let's find out. And it does. Perfect. So the only issue in this case was the plugin. And this might be different um, in your case, right? It could be a different plugin every time. Uh, but in this case, it was this plugin because it was making probably changes to this file. Um, and messing up how Elementor loads. So you can go through the same troubleshooting steps on your end. And uh, if you go through those same things, you should be able to detect and find out what is causing this error for you and get it fixed. I hope this video helped you. Please remember to like the video if it helped you and have an amazing day. Thank you. Bye-bye.